Hi guys, it's Brooklyn and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I make videos twice a week, so on Tuesdays and on Fridays. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so, so much for your continued love and support of my channel and I'm really hoping you enjoy my content. So today's video is going to be a nice kind of berry and rose gold smoky eye with nude lips makeup tutorial so originally it's going over daytime but it can work for daytime this look but more dressed up daytime. I'm using the Carmi MUA Make Magic palette, so I love this palette, I love Carmi, so yeah, I wanted to use it for this look, so I did. So it's really, really nice and wearable, basically just call it a wearable look. <laughs> and before I ramble on too much, I'll get into this look. I feel like this jumper doesn't look that flat when I'm sitting down to film this video. <laughs> but before I get into it, I'm just going to say... I've done my whole base makeup, like so my found my primer, like illuminating primer, foundation, concealer, powder. I've also filled in my eyebrows. I've used a uh, Revolution Pro Auburn Micro Brow Pencil with the Benefit Give Me Brow in shade five. And I'm kinda like in no more auburn -y eyebrows and just looks natural but fine and like that. So yeah. I'm going to do like an everyday autumn makeup look, so kinda like Playing about with like the autumn -y tones, like the berries and stuff, but I know I did a berry look last time, but I'm going to do more like uh, toned down, kind of like just something you can chip on. And I have to worry about it too much, but yeah. I'm going to use the Carmi palette, the Make Magic one by Makeup Revolution. And Carmi, he's amazing by the way, so go follow him and subscribe to him because he's amazing. <laughs> but I'm going to play around with some of like the Obviously that shadow kind of fell out, <laughs> that one there, because I tried to like no rub at it because, so the shadow fell out there, that's the only one that isn't the greatest but it could be just my palette and just the batch of palette I got but apart from that, the palette's amazing. And I've already primed my eyes with concealer so it's all primed and set and ready to go. I'm using the shade GDE on a Jessup small crease brush so a nice kind of deep berry shade. I played about with more the cranberry shades in my last video, so more kind of like brighter berry tones. So I'm taking that, I'll kind of move in closer, in like the outer V area. And then also into the crease, just a wee rough guide because we're going to blend it out with the lighter colour. I'm doing that, that reversed, reversed? Reversed blend technique, so I'm actually doing the darker colours first. I'm doing like that wee rough guide. Obviously I'm taking a bit higher than my crease because I want to see the darker the depth and all as I open my eyes so we can see what it's going to look like. I also recommend if you've got your eyes look up like take your shadows above your crease and it's kind of like uncomfortable when sitting like that. Let me see so we just Always take your shadows like above your crease just so you can see them. If you can see there. Obviously I'll be blend up power but it's just the baseline for the whole look. So we'll see him starting there be. Do that with your rough guide. And always like build up as you need to. It looks kind of silly at first, but you know what, it'll all come together, so yeah, just trust the process. So something like that, I'm also going to take that shade underneath my eyes, so I'm just going to like squash the weed brush like that and just take it underneath, if you can see that. 
but just it kind of creates like a false eyeliner look so it gives you like that definition to your eyes it's the same on the other eye So like that. I'm going to use a shade Overcome on a fluffy crease brush by Jessops. It's a nice kind of muted berry shade, like a lighter version of that one, but more muted. Just say the lighter version of the colour I used before. And there's a car horn going outside. So, yeah. Just going to kind of blend it in that colour, but above it. So, overlapping the two colours just to kind of make it a nice wee blend. So... Just blend around the colour. And take more as you need. See how nice that blends out I got? Just so easy. Then I'm going to take some of that underneath as well to squash the brush and blend out that. So basically I'm doing the same to the bottom as I'm doing to the top. And just... I'm going to just go back in with that darker berry shade just to build up the intensity in the crease because I've lost some of that as I blended it out and it blends just so nicely in And taking more back just to kind of, I want to really define that other bit area and kind of darken it up loads of that. Go back in with the lighter shade and then blend that out taking the shade love yourself on a flat brush by Jessops and I'm going to put that on the lid area so where there's no shadow just literally Gonna pack it on the lid. So like that. So something like that. I'm actually going to add some of that Cosy You colour, that rose gold colour has like a load of missing just on the centre of the lid space. Just to kind of, well all over that part of just put the other shade on. Just want to brighten it up a little bit. So like that. Sort of something like that. I'm going to go back into the fluffy brush just to tone down the darkness around the edges. 
just literally gonna blend like that we edge her just the soften up a wee bit more but still keep the depth of it so this look is perfect for like a special kind of daytime occasion or if you just want to look a bit more dressed up for day to day wear or like if you want to like wear this look on a night out but put like a bright or a really dark lip on it'll be gorgeous so it's really really versatile and it's perfect for like autumn, fall, winter time or any time you want to wear this look in summer go for it or like whatever time of the year if you want to wear this look just wear it. But yes I'm not going to put any eyeliner on I'm just going to like put mascara on and I'm going to do that off camera and then be right back. So I've just went in with a coat of my Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. I absolutely love it. Also got my eyelashes um tinted and lifted yesterday. Also my eyebrow tinted as well. And I haven't lifted as well as like last time. But they still look nice and long and curly. So that's what it looked like with one coat of this mascara. Now that is like insane. I love it. It's one of my favourites. But yeah. I'm going to just do one coat because I want it to be still a bit more daytime wearable. Daytime, I know it's like really, really smoky looking. And obviously me, I'm always dramatic. So I'm like, oh, I'll just go for a nice natural daytime look. No, I always go like 99% of the time. It's something like dramatic or like close to it. Sometimes if I'm in a rush, daytime, but no. <laughs> it's always me, but anyway, I'm just going to go on with like the contour like the face stuff basically i'm going to take w7 Honolulu bronzer on this wee ellison's angled face brush i don't know why i'm doing that before <laughs> but just gonna sculpt up my face this bronzer is a dead on dupe of the hula bronzer by benefit so it's really like three or four pounds so if you're looking for a wee affordable dupe for that benefit for Hula just go for it get W7 Honolulu it's just it's amazing and it's just the same it is just the same I don't really see a difference in benefit for Hula or W7 Honolulu it's just the same kind of bronzer I've got reviews on both of them on my channel so if you want to check them out go for it but I would definitely recommend every one of them but if you want to save money just go for a W7 option and you'll get good results. It's a great for contouring because it is like a matte bronzer and it isn't like an orange tone, it's like a just a neutral to warm tone. It isn't very warm, you can tell it's like slightly on the warm side, but it isn't very warm, so it's good for like bronzing and contouring, and it's good for like for medium skin tones. So I'm going in with a second bronzer because I'm extra AF. I'm using the Too Faced Sweet Hearts bronzer. It's a sweet tea one and I'm using the wee Bar Minerals Flawless Face Brush. Like it's one of them wee ones you get in one of the kits. I'm going to mix both the lighter and darker shade together just a couple of times. And apply it to like the high points of my face. So let's just to go over that contour and give me more of a healthy glow. I love this stuff. It's just amazing. I'm just loving wearing like a luminous bronzer on top of my, my matte bronzer just to kind of give me more of a healthy glow basically. So you can see it just gives you like a nice lifted look and it's just nice and healthy looking. It isn't like too shimmery or obvious looking, just a nice glow. This top is doing my head in. So I'm going to highlight my face using this um, Revolution Inspired by Love. Baked highlighter. It's a collaboration with Mary Curie. I've done a review on this, and also the like the Too Faced Sweethearts bronzer too. But it looks like I'm thinking I'm gonna mix all them together, or should I like the gold one? I don't know. I mix them all together anyway in this wee kind of unicorn highlighting brush. So just literally like that, and the high points, and it kind of supports the glow of half of the bronzer. So it kind of adds to that. I like to be nice and glowy. Actually I'm going to go and just intensify the gold. I always go for that gold colour because I just love 